Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday evening Ask the Doc call. It is a pleasure to see all of you. My name is Lynn Matthews, and I am here most Tuesdays with Dr. Carolyn Hoffman, really trying to help explain this new technology uh, that is really changing the paradigm of wellness. You know, for the past couple of centuries, we've all looked at trying to get healthy by mitigating symptoms, dealing with symptoms, and it rarely addresses the root of the problem. And now we have a way to get to the root of the problem, which is the cell. If redox is a new term for you, you are, as I say every week, you're in great company. It was new for all of us until someone cared enough to tell us about it or to invite us to learn about it. But just know that redox is the energy that powers all life. Nothing happens in my body, in your body, in anyone's pet's bodies without a redox reaction. Uh, they are the communication system for the body. And they not only protect our healthy cells, but they also help to detect, repair, and replace any damage anywhere in the body. It's quite remarkable. Tonight, we're going to explore what is redox and why should we care? Uh, people look at this for a number of reasons, and you might see yourself in some of these reasons why you're here tonight. One of the biggest reasons people start to explore this is because they have a health challenge or they have a loved one with a health challenge, and they're trying to figure out, you know, could this be the missing link? Could this be something that might be part of the solution in their journey back to health? Others are here because they like to be proactive with their health, you know, stop things before they can become something. Uh, and some of you might be here because you heard there was an athletic benefit to this thing called redox and you're trying to find out you know how that could benefit you and even though we do have uh, olympic athletes professional athletes very high performing athletes on this and using this you don't have to be at that level to benefit you know if you like to walk or play pickleball or you like to run or you just want energy at the end of your day then you might really enjoy learning about the athletic benefits of this. And Dr. Hoffman is going to talk to us a little bit about that. A fourth reason people look at this is for the anti-aging benefit. You know, we're all getting older. We cannot go back to yesterday or 10 years ago. Uh, and so what if we could find a way to kind of turn back or interrupt that process of aging? not just the physical signs that we see on the outside when we're looking in the mirror, but also on the inside, you know, all the oxidative stress and the wrinkles that are happening in our cells and in our organs. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that tonight as well. Uh, the final reason people look at this, and again, as I usually say on Tuesdays, we don't have a lot of time to get into this tonight. So if this is something that speaks to your heart, uh, Dr. Silverman, one of Dr. Hoffman's colleagues, we get into this more on a, on a Saturday morning, but when you have a cutting edge technology, really the most advanced health science technology of our lifetime uh, that works for literally everybody, there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity to make a real difference in the world and in other people's lives. Uh, so again, we don't have time to get into that tonight, but once you understand what this is, if that speaks to your heart, just ask the person that invited you and they can get you on the call on Saturdays or they can help you learn more about that. But right now, uh, what I'd love to do is introduce my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Carolyn Hoffman. She is a traditional naturopath. She's been in this field for over 23 years, uh, has had her own, you know, worked at wellness clinics, has had has her practice, but she came across this, uh, as she'll explain, a while ago but didn't get involved in it until about six or seven years ago. And she now sits on the medical professional board for this company. That is a volunteer position. But what I love about it is that it gives her just an incredible perspective uh, to share with us because she understands the technology and the product at a level that most people don't. So she comes with her wealth of knowledge from her medical background, plus that position being on the board. So as she goes through her presentation tonight, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. And at the end of the, uh, the presentation, we will make sure to go back and, and hit all those questions. Just remember that because the company chose not to be a pharmaceutical, our hands are kind of tied 
when it comes to talking about very specific conditions or disease names. So it's not that we're trying to avoid answering you. It's just that we have to be very careful in how the answers are worded. So if you want to talk about maybe and put in there symptoms you're having and try to avoid disease names, it's a lot easier for us to address that uh, from a legal and compliance standpoint. So Carolyn, I'm going to turn this over to you. That's perfect. Thank you, Lynn, as usual. Appreciate it. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, we enjoy doing this every week. I don't know how many years we've been doing this together, but quite some time. Um, I love to hope that by the time we get to the end of this, this kind of makes common sense to you as to why this has a place in your life and anyone else that you know. Um, this to me is as important as simply eating and drinking water and breathing, all those things that sustain our life. Redox is up there in the same spot. And uh, I'm going to try and share with you um, some guidelines around the kind of history, how we came to it, how, it's, how it functions in the human body, and you know what can we expect if we bring this on as part of our daily process of empowering our body to stay as healthy as we can. So let me share a screen with you and we'll try to make sure that we get the right one on here since uh, we've got these things float around now. Let me pull this one over and Lynn can hopefully make sure that I have the right one. Let's see if we can get to this and I'll pull this up here. Can you see that, Lynn? Is that clear? I can't hear you. You're on mute. <laughs> Is that good? Thumbs up? Yes. Okay, cool. That's good. Okay, just want to make sure that we get the right screen. Some things have changed around in the last few weeks. So I want to talk about really, really how do we reset the master switch of the human body? Because that's where we're going to, right down at that cellular level where the most foundational and most essential things are taking place to keep us alive, not simply healthy. Because when we talk about this redox function, we are, as Lynn said, talking about the energy that does power everything in the human body and by resetting that switch we're really able to unlock much more sustained energy that we probably notice changes with age uh, therefore we have more vitality to live our daily life and we are directly going to support the body's natural ability to be able to keep us healthy or to heal things when things get out of uh, out of control or maybe cells are getting old and it's just a natural process of replacing those cells. So we're going to explore this field of health science called redox. You can see on the right there a picture of what is, I think, of is like the Bible of redox biology. Uh, it's incredibly thick. Uh, if you're not a detailed person, don't go by that one. There are some much simpler ones that you can get uh, that would help you connect to how important it is just for living our life. But our body produces the energy for us to exist. And regular, uh, redox is how the body regulates how we use that energy to maintain our health, to make sure that DNA replication takes place, gene sequ sequencing, and literally everything that begins and ends with redox. There is nothing that happens in the body that hasn't got a redox instruction behind it. So that's how foundational this is. Cells basically give and receive signals every second of the day. And we have 70 to 100 trillion of them, and all of them are filled up with what we think of as saline, but water and salt, which is the, the fluid of life and make sure that we exist. We all know what that's like to go in the hospital and, and you know, have a saline bag when we're a little dehydrated or if we've had an accident. That's what they're basically filling up is our cells. And the cells within the human body, those 70 to 100 trillion cells, form every major organ system. So when we look at health or lack of health, a disease, it really comes down to how healthy those cells are. So we have somebody who has a breathing challenge. They actually um, have damaged cells in that respiratory system that aren't being healed the way they should be. 
If we have a cardiovascular problem, we've got damaged cells in the heart that are causing problems. And all of these things should naturally be resolved. In other words, we stay healthy by healing. But things, as we know, change over time uh, and stuff appears in life that really gets in the way and interferes with us living. Now, high energy cells, which have a very specific frequency, 70 to 100 milliwatts is the energy of a really, really healthy cell. And these high energy cells speak through redox signals uh, and to send frequency, what we think of and know of as energy, back into the body. And when we are operating at that level, we know we're going to feel energetic, we're going to recover quickly, and we're, we're never or we're rarely sick. Or well, certainly if we do get slightly sick, as we said, we recover fast. But maybe staying in that space all the time means we just never have a symptom, right, that causes us a challenge. In other words, we know we're operating on all valves, so to speak. Now, cellular toxicity really interrupts the health of a cell. Cells become more toxic with age and with lifestyle. There's all sorts of things that contribute to that. I always love the visual of the fishbowl because really that's what our toxic cells kind of look like in a way. They don't breathe well, you know, they get choked up and all the good things can't get in and all the bad things are stuck inside. And, and we know what that feels like. In other words, reduced energy. Because the cell voltage drops, it drops from that healthy cell voltage. And energy as a result of it is no longer available to the cells. And so what happens is that we experience that, you know, we become chronically exhausted. We just don't recover as fast as we should do. Or we become sick with these things that are dis-ease, you know, the body being out of it. And the doctor, unfortunately, gives us a name that goes with it. Now, if we look at blood under live blood microscopy, we can see the difference between cells that have low frequency and cells that have high frequency. These free electrons basically charge the blood literally with billions of molecules of oxygen per cell. Certainly not the picture you're looking at on the left. There's only one little oxygen molecule for each of those tails of clump cells, but there's oxygen bouncing around in every cell when we have a high frequency and we feel that in our life. So when cell voltage drops, all sorts of cell signaling is compromised. These are foundational things, literally the things that keep us healthy, right? In other words, the cells can't detect as, as easily as they can when they're healthy, when there's a problem. They don't hear the signals to say that there's a damaged cell. They don't know how to find it and repair it as easily. And they can't really effectively delete those old and aged cells and replace them with nice new healthy ones. Or particularly important, you know, if you've got cells that are over multiplying in a bad way, we definitely want to hear that signal to be able to know where they exist and, and eliminate them before they really cause a problem. The body doesn't manage to defend us effectively against viruses and bacteria or environmental toxins. The cells can't actually maintain optimal, optimal genetic signaling. Another piece of it is DNA repair begins to become struggling and challenged. And of course, at the basis of all of the things that bother us when we're not healthy is inflammation. We all well know that inflammation causes disease and disease promotes inflammation. So this is where, you know, health begins to falter. Now, this picture is probably what we expect, right? The look of looking and feeling um, better when we're younger and not so good when we're older. And those wrinkles on the outside that I always talk about are really that reflection of that oxidative stress taking place on the inside. And here we can see this, especially from our 80s to our 90s on the right, lots of inflammation, lots of oxidative stress. And if we look at Rosie's eyes, really no energy in that body because all of her cells have lost that peak voltage. Now, the energy and the communication within that saline that's in every cell is what the mitochondria use to produce what we know of as ATP, literally the energy for every single cell. But they also produce these things called reductants, negative charges and oxidants, positive charges that science has put together in this word called redox. Redox biology and medicine is actually fueling where health science is going today. 
Why is that? Because every mitochondria is busily involved in producing these essential cell signaling mechanisms. And so this is where it's happening all the time. Now, that redox, as I said, is the reductance and the oxidants. Now, just like a computer speaks in signals, right? We know that as code to make sure that the computer works correctly. The body's language is redox signaling molecules. And this is our language that tells the body how to code for the right things to happen. Now, when a cell is compromised, these signals switch on the alarm bell. I think of them as the 911 of the human body. The reductants respond by basically tracking that frequency, that signal that's been sent out, a bit like making a call for 911 on our phone. And then depending upon what type of an emergency is found in the human body, the body's going to sum up the appropriate tools for the healing. If it's a repair, then we're going to repair. If it's, you know, old cells or sick cells, then the body's going to know how to delete them and replace them with healthy cells. And we are then, if when this is all in balance, in what we call redox homeostasis. Redox homeostasis is the key to health. I like to show this scientific study published in 2016 because it talks about the fact that redox changes with aging and it's observed in that process. It talks about the fact that redox is literally essential for health homeostasis and that these signals literally regulate our very existence. And that when we are in any kind of sustained deviation, in other words, being out of this balance of hearing a problem and responding to it, the body begins to drop into this place of dis-ease. And that can look different for every single one of us, obviously. This is the statement that I always come to when I say to myself, you know, if I know that my redox signaling is going to change as I get older and that it is literally essential for me to stay healthy and it's important that it's in balance if I want to avoid disease or at least slow down the problems that create it, then if I could find a way to actually change that since it's changing with age, uh, you know, why wouldn't I do that? It is just to me, it's a common sense. And we're going to show you why we all have that opportunity to take hold of our own health and actually put ourselves in the driver's seat of that by rebuilding our redox signaling on a daily basis. Now, this change, as it talked about in that study that's seen with aging, actually begins in puberty, maybe a lot earlier than we kind of think of aging. Uh, and what we see is about a 10% reduction per decade. Not only um, do we have less as we get older, but also what we have becomes a lot less stress resilient to the challenges of staying healthy. And so as a result of it, we see that damage and disease take place. Now, someone when they're younger should have lots and lots of these redox molecules keeping them healthy. You know, their skin looks amazing. They recover fast. They've always got boundless amounts of energy. Uh, and we see that shift. It's actually taking place, as we say, at 1% per year from puberty. Uh, we probably don't really notice that until maybe we're in our later part of our 30s. We may start to see that skin looks slightly different by then. A lot of changes have happened. But we know by the time we're 40 and 50, we certainly don't feel or look quite like we did when we were in our 20s. And this is that inbuilt arc of aging that's going on. I mentioned that science calls this a field of redox, redox biology and medicine. It is literally fueling the way health science is looking at how can they eventually understand these complex and highly fleeting molecules and find some way to not simply understand their connection to maintaining health and what goes wrong when we're diseased or we have a challenge with our health, but also maybe down the line, they'll be able to work out how to produce some drugs out of it. Currently, at this point, we are glad to say that there are no drugs um, based on redox. And nitric oxide is maybe the closest that people will get to know that if you've got a cardiovascular issue, because that was the first redox signaling molecule that won the first Nobel Prize back in 1998 for its benefits to cardiovascular health. 
But if you like to research, you'll see that universities and departments worldwide are busily involved in studying this phenomenon. And every year they've been coming together since 1998 in Paris, France, to share the latest developments in this field. So we know an awful lot about redox. It's actually been studied before those Nobel Science Prizes, but there's a huge amount of um, published information on how important these molecules are. Now, scientifically, as I mentioned, that these are very volatile molecules. And scientifically, the challenge has always been the stability of these highly reactive molecules because they convert back into salt and water. They're literally in nanoseconds after they've donated this energy that they are, they are holding. I always think of those little balls of energy as a little bit like a hot potato, you know, this redox signaling molecule sitting there looking for somewhere to give this uh, electron to a less healthy cell to make a difference. Now, a publicly traded company was researching cardiovascular health, HIV and diabetes, and they were making this particular product that we're going to talk about this evening in more depth uh, in limited quantities with you know, very small devices. These were highly unstable and they had to be used within a matter of minutes. And so that was one of those challenges. You couldn't do anything commercial with something that really hung around only for no more than 10 minutes at the most. And so we have this really interesting intersection because enter into this story um, back in 2007, Verdis Norton, he was a retired vice president of strategy for Kraft Foods, incredibly well-respected person who had run companies with billions of dollars and extremely familiar with how do you market food products, etc., into the normal run of the mill things. But he was skeptical. Why was he skeptical? He was skeptical because this product starts with salt and water. And I'm sure there's a few of you on the call tonight. And I will tell you, we've all been in that space, right, where we look at the label and we say salt and water in the same way that he did. You know, I don't think there's anything that we don't know about salt and water. And I don't think there's anything that could be made from that. But after discovering that the science that had been studied for about 10 years with a publicly traded company was validated by these major institutions you can see on the screen, he had the opportunity to purchase that intellectual asset. So 10 years of published research and trade secrets, and he tasked a new group of scientists on finding out exactly what was the mechanism of action and how to successfully stabilize it and do what science couldn't do. Why was he interested in doing that? Because he got to experience drinking these molecules being generated by these little machines. And he recognized that he felt different. He felt healthier at 69. And he knew that they got something kind of intriguing here. But obviously, you know, taking something at salt water to market needs some kind of skill and some thought. Uh, if you want to know the full story behind it, take a look at discoverredox.com and, and watch the ASEA Genesis story. We'll talk about the pivotal point that really lays the foundation for this company and why he didn't actually choose to sell it to a pharmaceutical company. So this patented process that we have replicates exactly what the mitochondria is doing in the production of redox signaling molecules within that ATP production. The saline within our cells is just broken up into four atoms. If we think of what salt water is made up of, it's sodium and chloride and hydrogen and oxygen. So you have these four components and I think of the body as doing its little dance, really like playing Scrabble with four little letters and seeing how many words can you make from that. The body reassembles these four molecules in multitudes of different redox signaling molecules. Now, we restructure this in exactly the same way that the body is doing it. And our science allows us now to be able to measure every single batch that we make. And the moment we peak at exactly that perfect redox potential, we kind of lock it all off and suspend it there. And it sits in these beautiful blue bottles waiting to go to work. It's going to go to work on us when we drink it. That's what's so phenomenal. 
And th what we have now is uh, the opportunity to have gone from that 10 minute lifespan to a 21 month lifespan. Now, once you can get something to 21 months, you've now got something that's very different that can actually get out of that scientific research lab. And so here we have, this is the FDA registered facility. It's the only one in the world that makes the stabilized redox signaling molecules. From here, direct to the door of every consumer in 35 countries, the product gets shipped to straight to the consumer. Uh, this is a fully guaranteed, there's no middlemen, there are no third parties involved. And when it's coming from this facility, you know that it's not tampered, it's not expired. Uh, there's no risk of, of getting a fake product, which does exist on the market. So I would make sure that if you are interested in, in trying this out, that you make sure that the person who invited you to the call helps you get your account directly with the company so that this is where your product's coming from. You can see the various staging processes that we're going through, the different tanks and um, the magic sources happening happening here. Why do we only have one facility? Because we have seven patents and over a thousand trade secrets and you'll never find anybody else making this. Although um, to this day, no one has been able to reverse engineer what we have. Why is that? Well, because traditionally, if we think about traditional supplements, we all know that on the back of the supplements are a label of all the ingredients. Redox is entirely different. Remember, it starts with salt and water, but what it ends up with is redox signaling molecules that are suspended in just a very little amount of saline. So there's nothing that anyone can pour out and reverse engineer and analyze. They don't know how to make what we have because it's not the ingredients that we start with, it's the process that we go through that splits those atoms and creates these bioidentical redox molecules. So it's a very different kind of a way of looking at how to help your health. Uh, clinical studies will show that this is totally non-toxic. We have people who will drink a whole bottle a day if they've got a really chronic health condition. A lot of people feel like more helps their body overcome some of those challenges. And we'll say you shouldn't need to drink that much and we hope you're not in that situation. But what it means is that it is totally non-toxic from those clinical studies. Um, you can't be allergic to it because as we speak, we're all making this, otherwise we wouldn't be alive. And so we are bio replenishing something that is identical with something we're already making. And I think what is really cool as a practitioner is that if you're on medication this evening and you're wondering whether this can be taken with it, it's transparent to medication. What that means is it's not going to interfere with anything that you're taking. We just ask you to keep on those meds. It's not our place to change any of that. And just add this in and just benchmark what your body does with it and just watch those changes. So that means, in other words, it's totally safe and it can't hurt you. So that is just a beautiful um, place to be. And I don't have anything else that I can say that about any other product on the market. Uh, we have lovely herbs and things that do amazing things in this world, but lots of them have contraindications for medication. And so this is these highly um, active redox signaling molecules. Our product is third party validated, so it goes out to independent laboratories, it's retested to verify that what you and I are purchasing is actually redox signaling. These are the redox technologies. These are based on pure redox. Obviously, our flagship product is the original development of the stabilized redox signaling, the liquid. This is the powerhouse because this is going to affect and support every single cell in your body. It doesn't matter where your challenge is, it's going to bio replenish every single cell. And wherever your body needs additional help, it's going to put that to work. This isn't curing you, this isn't healing you, your body's actually using the power of this to reset the clock, so to speak, and start to do things that it's kind of losing control over. Uh, these are highly reactive molecules, and so they like to go to work. And as a result of it, because they work on something that's organic, in other words, you and me, um, or our pets and our plants, incidentally, um, it took five years to take the liquid and find how you can actually put it together with something to suspend it in a topical application. And here you can see this is a totally clear gel. 
So the Renew 28 is really designed for skincare, but we will talk about another cute way that you can use this. We have many ways to use it. In fact, 50 different ways that we can use this product. So um, ask for that list. But there's a very special way that can also help you get a sense of how quickly the body pulls in extra redox and puts it to work. So this has a silica clay in it. It's transparent though, you can't see it. it doesn't smell of anything. And we'll talk a little bit more about those results. The Renew 28 was, went through two 28 day studies. And so we improve skin cell turnover by 16% in 28 days. In other words, that is directly anti-aging, right? One of the reasons that Lynn mentioned that if you're looking for the anti-aging benefit, this gel is phenomenal, but it also makes a lot of other changes to the skin. Dimethicone is the intensive. This is twice as concentrated as the white tube. It's a smaller tube. It's designed for those fine lines and wrinkles and just specific little things that you want. Um, but again, these are all pure redox. And our most recent um, development has been a three-year project to discover the right type of special bentonite clay that could suspend the redox molecules. Bentonite is wonderful for re-energizing the skin, for pulling out impurities, for tightening it up. Uh, but unlike bentonite products that you might see in the skincare industry, because it's tied to the redox, it doesn't dry the skin out. Now, everybody loves this because, again, it's like the ultimate anti-aging if you want to tighten up and look amazing. Um, but we do have athletes who use this <clears throat> Uh, on sore muscles to drive the redox even deeper. And so we, we tend to be a kind of inventive and very imaginative group of people who find many ways to use those products. So it's not really kind of just as obvious as you might think. Uh, I mentioned that this is in clinical studies. These are the results of the 28 days. And just from four simple ingredients, none of the long list of all the chemicals that you don't want on your skin that you'll see on the market. And so this is really the cleanest product I've ever worked with, but with amazing results. It will say some pictures, give us some beautiful examples of those clinical studies. And here you can see the changes in 28 days in things like the tone and the elasticity of the skin, calming the skin where it's very irritated and changing those wrinkles that we develop with time. Uh, remember, skin is an all over body thing. It's not just our face. So you can put this wherever you want to make sure you're maintaining healthy looking elastic skin. So all over body skin therapy. And it will soothe the irritated skin. What most of us love to do is to be able to have this as our go to in our bathroom cabinet, uh, you know, for things like itching and irritating cuts, stings, bee, bee, bee stings, anything, you'll find a myriad of uses for it. It tends to replace everything else that we buy. Lynn mentioned that uh, we have Olympic athletes who use this and highly professional athletes who are using this product. The Redox drink and the Renew 28 really fuel the performance of all these people you can see and a lot more if you go to our Discover Redox website and see all the other um, athletes who are using this. The sports studies that have been done extensively on this actually will show that it provides a 29% increase in endurance and faster recovery, much sharper mental acuity. And that's really just something that we all need, right? I mean, I'm not an Olympic athlete. I might have been a professional ballet dancer in the past, but I still would never have wanted to be an Olympic athlete, I don't think. Uh, we don't need to be that, right? Energy, whether it's to fuel an Olympic athlete or whether it's just to fuel us in the day we, we spend living our life, is to, to know that we have enough of it, right, to complete everything that we want to do in our life. So if you're feeling like, you know, the day is longer than the energy available to fill it, then this would be a beautiful opportunity for you to repower your cells and get another 29% increase in, in energy and endurance. I mentioned this has a very unique way to kind of know how quickly the body puts extra redox to work. This was the way that I chose to validate it for myself in my practice, because as every client came in, I asked them the telling question if they had something that hurt or maybe didn't move as well, you know, range of motion changes with age in particular or with injury. 
And I was testing this out and I simply said, you know, uh, I have a new product. I want to try it out. Can you give me some feedback? And so what we did was we rated the level of discomfort. You know, if it was um, directly hurting, something like knees don't bend so well or backs hurt or shoulders or necks, then rate that level of discomfort for yourself and try this out on a one through ten. If it's range of motion, have a look at how much flexibility you have or where, how far you can go before something hurts. Maybe take a photograph of that, but also rate that level of discomfort. And then take the gel and try this. And I want to encourage you not to simply do it on yourself, but find a bunch of people like I did. I mean, my clients came in, but I was trying it on everybody because it helped me kind of get a sense of, well, what are these molecules and what are their potential for helping other people? Do people want this product? You know, was it any benefit? Shake it up because it is the same as the liquid with only a limited amount of the silica just to hold it in that application. They would had to do this because everyone was spraying their body with the liquid for about five years before they could find out how to actually turn it into a gel. And then take a good amount, probably like a, you know, a good raspberry amount, um, and then apply it to the area that's hurting. You'll see here that it's totally clear. It's actually already going to work when the moment it comes in contact with us, this is signaling. So it already gives away its energy and it's starting to communicate. It's not like traditional gel that has to be absorbed. But I want you to actually rate that level of discomfort, shake that gel up and apply it three times in five minutes. Wait for five minutes and then come back and see what happens. Remeasure, you know, whatever that thing was that hurt you. Check how far your flexibility might have changed. Um, compare the photos of the before and after. Because I think it, what it showed for me was some really interesting experiments. I will show you that this was, for example, the kind of variety of outcomes that I saw. People who had things that would go from a level eight discomfort right down to a zero in just two minutes. But then sometimes from a six to a two in 10 minutes or a seven to a four in 10 minutes, sometimes from a 10 to a zero in 10 minutes. Uh, what that shows is that it doesn't really matter where the problem is, because all of those were very different problems. What it shows in common is that when we have something that's not functioning and hurts, our signaling system, our ability to to call into practice healing within the body has got stalled out and when we kind of fire hose that area that's yelling at us because it doesn't want to work the way it should do or it hurts what we watch is the body kind of suck that up kickstart that conversation at the cellular level and then we watch the body go into action and so these are all examples of how diverse those responses could be but i would encourage you not just to try it on yourself you could try it on all of your friends and just watch those differences because drinking is not going to be the same outcome you know i experienced the curiosity over this because my husband was my first guinea pig with the liquid wasn't certain what I was going to do with that but you know we'd gone through 22 years of him struggling and not being able to breathe and exercise adequately but after eight hours after should we say after two weeks on this product uh, he was able to get out and actually work in the yard for eight hours chopping down trees and working with chainsaws and didn't need any support in terms of assistive breathing issue um, products. That was such a, um, a, 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 it was a moment when it felt like it was too good to be true, right? How can one thing suddenly make such a radical change when I can tell you, if you could look at the list of things that we've done for 22 years, none of those things had come anywhere near this. And so but it got me curious. It's like, well, why is this one thing making such a radical change when all those other things hadn't done that? I had this 30 year struggle with autoimmune conditions from a client that was referred to me. And this was my second experience of saying, why is this doing things in a way that all these other things that I've worked with for over 20 years just don't seem to come anywhere close to it? So someone who was referred to me, she struggled and been working with lots of different doctors over the 30 years, had no life because of all the challenges she was going through. And as an 
an off the chance suggestion in reading the redox biology book i said to her you know you might want to try this for three months and see if this is the missing link i said it's not about nutrition it's not cbd oils it's not essential oils it's not antioxidants even though it creates them within the human body but i said this is about how our cells communicate within and between them and i said it may be that this is the thing that kind of just pulls it together and helps you find a better place of health she decided to go ahead and do that. And within 30 days, this woman had had a 90% shift in her health. That blew me away for the second time because I'd never seen anything do this. And I really needed to try to understand why. But it's because we're going down to something so foundational. We're fixing a cell. And so all of these different experiences, what's in common is simply that regardless of wherever that problem is, it still comes down to a damaged cell not working. And if we can help restore the capacity of the energy of the cells to communicate the way they used to when we were younger, we begin to watch the body go back to doing things in a way that it did when it was younger because it had more of these redox molecules. So we think very differently when we work with this. And I know we all tend to think on symptoms, but I want you to dial it back to the cell. Now, ASEA actually puts a lot of money into studying this product because we are the only people who've created it. Right? We can't go to anybody else for advice on redox because we're the only people in this market. And so we've had to uh, find other people to help us learn more and more about the power of our product. I want to mention this particular genetic study, which I think is very powerful. Not only were there 35 year olds who were the test group for there, um, when we tested their genetics before we put them on a seer, we found they'd already started to dial down to turn off. Um, but after eight, out, eight weeks on eight ounces of this product, all of them, 100% of them, had a uniform improvement in genetic function, 20 to 31%. And I think what's also very telling is that the placebo group were on just plain saline, the same saline we start with that becomes our molecules. And the body didn't respond to that at all. We had a 0% on the placebo. But what's important is whether you're sick or whether you're not, look at the things that are being upregulated that are foundational for us to stay healthy, especially as we age, right? Immune signaling system, cardiovascular health, gut health, which speaks to the brain for a start. So enzyme production, modulating hormones and vitality and overall wellness, supporting the body's ability to be flexible and to respond to external stresses, which is what defends us against those viruses and bacteria, and maintaining a healthy response to inflammation when we exercise. And that isn't about being an athlete, it's about simply living our life, right? We're all creating oxidation and inflammation every moment we're alive by simply breathing. Now, genetics opens doors. It's like a cascade, right? So every single one of those genetic pathways opens multiple, multiple doors. And what I want you to take from this is not all the fancy words that are on the screen, but what's in blue. Look at the things that are in blue, because if you have a challenge with those things in blue, then you know, or maybe your friend or your loved one has a challenge, you know that that pathway is downregulated. It's not working the way it should do. And so if you can do something that is non-toxic, you can't be allergic to it and doesn't interfere with anything uh, and is native to the human body and can improve that, why would you not want to make sure that your genetics stay as strong as they can? Additional studies you'll see cover things like glutathione, improvements in efficacy by 800%, increasing production of it by 60%, changing significant markers that all contribute to us uh, living a healthy life and being able to combat these challenges with getting older and maybe moving into a more diseased state. Uh, we have targeted redox signaling products. These are not pure redox. This is the science that we're expanding on. How do you use um, key 
formulated plant-based nutraceuticals to support cellular health. They're going to promote things like energy, um, cognition, mood, relaxation, skin, and overall um, nutrition. And these are stackable. And we stack these on top of the foundation of our redox signaling in the liquid. And we build how we can target and support the body in its overall journey. I'm not going to go into these because these could take a whole webinar in themselves. But we have a lot of information that the person who invited you can give you on these products. So how much is it going to take to recharge our cells? Well, if you take four ounces a day, uh, which is two ounces in the morning, two ounces in the evening of this, we're going to see that 10 to 15 percent of people at the end of the first week are going to start to see what their body's doing it, doing with it. At one month in, we're going to see about 50% of people have noticed changes. But the biggest changes start to happen for at least 90% of us by the time we get to the third month because we're recharging more and more of our cells back to a more optimal level. So they've got energy to donate. Now, how do we recharge the cells faster? A bit like an Apple iPhone, fast charger, right? It takes me about, I don't know, 15 minutes to charge my phone on one of those, and it can take me quite a few hours on a regular cord. So what don't we do for the body? Well, we super saturate, right, with more. So we would take six ounces a day. This is the equivalent of our clinical amount. And we have something called an essentials pack, which gives you a free tube of gel and free shipping so that you can get into this. You can recharge that cell and your battery and watch what's happening much quicker. We want you to benchmark everything about your health. We want you to target and write down how you feel about all of these things, not just the main thing that you're looking for. And at day one, we want you to start with the four ounces at the end of first week. If you haven't seen anything change, we're going to say go to that six ounces and reevaluate as you move through weeks after weeks, watching where your body's directing that energy. If you're chronically or severely health challenged, you may need more than simply six ounces to recharge your cells. And then once you've found that sweet spot and your body's kind of got itself back up to a much better level of health, you can then begin to taper back and find out what's going to work for you to maintain daily living. A CA charges the cells. I put this the other way, right? Last time around, I showed you what we think of as aging. We think of looking good on the left and not looking so good by the time we're older. But this is actually the real story of Rosie, who at 84 looked like she does on the right here, full of a lot of inflammation, no energy in those eyes. But her progression on a CA redox is just nothing short of remarkable. I have no other product, and that's why I believe that this is the single most influential thing that you could do for yourself, is that I have no other product that could actually take somebody, especially in their 80s, and progress them seven years into their 90s, but make them look like they're at least 10, if not 20 years younger. I don't have any pills that will do that. Uh, only redox is going to do that, because only redox is where you get these redox signaling molecules. If you'd like to know more about the uh, connections between redox within the human body, redoxscience.com is a great spot for that. We have more stories in our Facebook group where people report their experiences. We have more interviews on real redox results. And we have the Discover Redox site, which gives you a lot of information on all of our products, as well as our science and our athletes or more video connections, a lot of other resource, uh, resources on gettingyoungerclub.com. Uh, I mentioned the ASEA ethos, which is you know, pivotal because of Virtus Norton. And, and I'm going to move over to Lynn, um, who's going to share with us why we have this ethos of to better the lives of others and to be a force for good in the world, and what makes us very different. So Lynn, I'm going to share and move over to you to do what I think is just as important as the product. I, I completely agree. Uh, you know, Dr. Hoffman had mentioned that um, Virgis Norton turned down uh, an offer from a pharmaceutical company. You know, he was he was a visionary when he realized that what he had was really groundbreaking. He initially thought he was going to just stabilize it and turn it over to a company like a pharmaceutical company to, so that they could get it out to the world. So while he was working with these scientists, he got 40 people 
to take the product, to kind of test it out, if you will. And these were friends, family members, church members, all of them with varying levels of health challenges. Six of those people, the challenges were enough that they had been told basically to get their affairs in order. Uh, and so then he started these conversations with the pharmaceutical company. And in the meantime, all these people started to thrive. These six people were starting to thrive. Uh, so when the pharmaceutical company told him that, that one condition of this contract and, and buying the technology from him was that everyone he had taking it, including himself, his family, those six people, his whole focus group, they had to stop. Uh, it would no longer be publicly available for them. And he, he was shocked. You know, he couldn't believe that they would be taking this away from people who it was obviously having a great benefit for. Uh, but he, he decided, uh, because that was the only way to sell it, uh, that he could not do that. Morally, ethically, he could not take this away from these people whose lives were changed. And it was at that pivotal moment that he decided to walk away from the offer and create this company we now know as ASEA. And he wanted this to be his legacy to humanity. He knew he had something very, very important uh, that could change people's lives around the world. And he was trying to figure out, well, if it's not going down the drug route, how do I bring this to market? Uh, and as Dr. Hoffman had mentioned, you know, he had brought a lot of products to market. He knew how to do that. And he knew that something that the label said was just sodium chloride and water you couldn't just stick on a shelf. We all read labels and most of us would not buy something that just said salt water. Even if it said redox on it, because we don't know what redox is. Most people don't know that yet. So he decided he would bring it to the world through word of mouth. Uh, and he knew that this could change. It impacted industries like health and wellness, you know, beauty and anti-aging, athletic performance, all these things you've heard tonight. But he also knew that this industry he had chosen as his distribution method didn't necessarily have the best reputation, and he wanted to be sure that ASEA would be different, that there would be a, a culture of integrity and ethos where they would put people first, and it wasn't all about profits and the bottom line. And one of the pieces of their ethos is that um, it's called E over uh, P over E, which is principles, purpose, and people above their own egos and above economics. And I think that if you think about it, if you look at the world today and, and the corporations today, so many, so many are all about the bottom line. They're all about stockholders. They're all about profits more so than people. And I just love the fact that this company has a soul. They truly put people first. They value relationships above transactions. And this is something that is not just those of us who are sharing it out in the field, but this starts at the top. And over the 10 years that I've been involved with the company, I have just watched this move deeper and deeper into, into the culture of the company. So I think when we're all looking at, you know, is this something that we want to take ourselves for our own health? Or even is this something that we may want to get involved with to help share it? I think like Dr. Hoffman said, knowing who sits behind it, and what their thought process is and wanting this to be a legacy company and a very ethical company, I think that's just as important as these products that are changing people's lives. So I love that we, we get to at least talk about this for a few minutes on Tuesdays because it does, make, it does make a difference. You know, when you're looking at people as people and not objects and you're there in service of others, it just changes the whole paradigm of what you have to offer the world. And so, Carolyn, thank you uh, for always giving these few minutes. I know for you and I, this is why we're still involved, is because of the ethos of this company and the heart of this company. Uh, so I'm going to turn this back over to you because I did see that we had a couple of questions. Certainly. Yes, I would agree with you. I think it's just as important as the product. Let me just...